Hello all, it is Henry NWR1911 here with another episode of DVD Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing Thomas the Snowy Surprise. As, if I'm not mistaken, the day this review is coming out, it has been 20 years since this one came out. So let's just get right into a brief little history. Thomas the Snowy Surprise was released on VHS and DVD on October 14th, 2003, and then it was reprinted in 2004, the VHS, same with the DVD. 2005, the DVD came back under a slim case, and I think it came back in 2009 by Lionsgate, 2012 by Lionsgate, and in 2014 by Lionsgate. It was in a crap ton of DVD packs, one of which being the Thomas's Holiday Collection, which was a really sloppy repackage. I may or may not pick up in the future and yeah it's been on shelves till like 2020 or so so let's get right into this so the original 2003 vhs we have you know a picture we have the thomas and friends logo but up at the top really cool like silvery finish i no i'm not reflected in this <laughs> or maybe i am i don't care we have some cool glittery snowflakes aches Aches, <laughs> we got a picture of Thomas from Snow and Percy from Jack Frost. That's awesome. On the side, we have a snow-covered cartoon. Thomas looks so fun. Scrolling down, entertainment. Back, we got two snapshots from It's Only Snow. Told by Alec Baldwin and George Carlin. So we're we finally got a proper Baldwin release here on um reviews, and we got the blurb. Now, this is an early print of, you know, Thomas the Snowy Surprise. Only early versions list it's only snow as Thomas the Snowy Surprise, like right here. Here, what about the later version? We'll get to that in a minute. Tape. Now, we got, you know, oh, this version, but it had the kind of glittery snowflake effect removed, unfortunately. It's the exact same in the back. Instead, it says it's only snow, as opposed to Thomas's Snowy Surprise. And the tape appears to be a later print. And, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, oh. Oh, sorry. Couldn't get my camera to focus there. <laughs> or stay in place. And I believe that, you know, oh, the DVD, it lists it as, we'll get to that in a moment. So here's the DVD, exact same thing. This is the oldest Thomas DVD in my collection, as evidenced by the case design. I Back is exactly the same, but we have some bonus features. I unfortunately don't have this booklet, but whatever. And, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, there was a CD copy of this from 2003 that listed It's Only Snow is Thomas the Snowy Surprise and in the booklet, too, but that's just me. The disc, this is, I think this is actually scratched, but, you know, whatever. Ever, like, God, I've had this since, like, what, 2012? This is, like, this was my childhood, man. We're, we're going, we're gonna, we're going to fucking do a menu tour on this. But, but why not? So, here we are for the menu tour of Thomas the Snowy Surprise. It, it looks really festive. I love those trains in the background. That's not festive, but I love that wreath. You can see Thomas has a Santa hat here. I'm going to take the liberty of zooming in so we don't have another Thomas gets tricked here. Oh, hey, there's Henry. So, yeah, expect... When we review the other Season 6 DVDs, expect this painfully long-ass intro. Intro. <laughs> oh, Harold, snowy surprise. Let's listen to the Andrew's audio. You're sure to find loads of snowy surprises and Christmas fun. I'm a really useful engine, and in my shed, you can play all the fun stories of Thomas's Christmas Wonderland from start to finish. In my splendid shed, you can pick your favorite episodes and go right to them. The thousands of seasons always make the holidays very special on the Isles of Sodor. In my shed, you can sing along to my favorite winter song. <laughs> Visit my shed to play Percy's order fun, match the snowflakes, decorate a Christmas tree, 
visit Sogor Special Deliveries, and more. So in case you don't know, they literally recycled the audio from the Thomas's Christmas Wonderland UV from all the entries except for Thomas, but we'll find out more about that when we get to Christmas Wonderland. Let's just see what episodes we have on here so I can review them. Hey James. It's only snow. I like that, you know, Thomas's disdain of snowplows is still present here, and his character development and maturity is ever so prominent here. Here, the way he keeps pressing on through the snow, even without his plow, is really commendable. I doubt he would have kept trying if shit like this happened in seasons one or two. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Jack Frost is, you know, a classic. Alec Baldwin's narration sucks. But, you know, Stephanie Bolstrode music loves it, and I do too. I... <laughs> Jack Frost is so relatable to me on my in my personal life. Like, I said in my 200 subscribers video that the way Percy blinds to his driver will scary Jack Frost find me. Find me. <laughs> it's so allegory to her being like, is it gonna kill me? When I wouldn't give, when I finally did give her a runny. Toby Out a Little Lamb is a sweet, really heartwarming episode that shows how ugly winter can be on Sodor. Jack Frost gets a 9 out of 10. Toby Out a Little Lamb gets a blunt 10. So the final three episodes are recycled from Christmas Wonderland. Snow, a classic episode. Ode, Ode the Crash is absolutely insane. The ending bit with Gordon is really funny. Tom's Christmas Party, a simple but fun episode. Snow, 9 out of 10. Thomas's Christmas one party party is a, a 9 out of 10. And Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree is my all-time favorite Christmas episode. 10 out of 10. It's fun seeing every character from the first two seasons together. We got our song. There's Henry. Winter Wonderland is not as great as the Snow Song, but still a classic nostalgic song. Fun games. Oh my god, Thomas literally ran out of the camera. Let's unmute and hear what Tom has to say. Awesome. So yeah, we got some pretty a pretty good variety of games. Let's let's look at Match the Snowflake. Oh my god, I love love that snowy background. It looks so beautiful. So can I like fast forward through this or whatever? It, it's very simple, you just you know match a snowflake. It, it, this is just so, you know, cute. Just a simple childlike fun. That's kind of what I get from this game. And honestly, the episodes on that release kind of give me that playful full vibe. Let's get sort of special deliveries. Here on the island of Sodor, the engines love to receive holiday greetings in the mail. It makes the holidays even more special. Oh, and it looks like you Oh my god, that looks like that animation zooming in. Tell me that didn't look like a choppy cutscene from a PlayStation 2 game in like 2006. God. Oh, I guess this was 2003, but what the hell, man? So, yeah, you just click on a random engine. Let's do Percy. Because, you know, my boy Henry's not here. This is a really cool, you know, bonus feature. Is it wrong that I think I have better handwriting than all of these trains combined? Because I sure don't. Yeah. Oh my god. 
I think. Any music? I I think on the Ultimate Christmas DVD it has the hit, uh, new series theme playing. Who calls it the new series? Web Fun. I love how they literally put snow over the menu. It's so, it's so fun, you know. And that's pretty much all we have to say for Thomas the Snowy Surprise. I give this release a solid 9 out of 10, you know. Those few points are deducted from reusing stories from Christmas Wonderland. And, but, you know, it's still a great release, and you should pick it up, even if you have Ultimate Christmas, because this is just, this is just a fun Season 6 release, if you get what I mean. But anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video, and leave a comment below as we end on our obligatory running gag. Interesting for Season 6 time.